Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Manchester. With me got shining amateur star Hopi Price. Um, making your pro debut here in Manchester, the Manchester Arena. The arena has seen some spectacular fights over the years. How excited are you to be doing that? Very excited. Um, I've been waiting a long time to get um, my debut underway. Like say, I turned over a couple of months back, started training pro, but I only signed with um, Eddie Amatra maybe two weeks ago. So I'm happy. I'm on a big show for my first fight. Hi. You know, talked about you know Matt Big Show, your first fight. I mean, Eddie likes to put his young stars through. Like, so you'll probably fight Saturday night and probably two weeks, three weeks down the line. Yeah, You've got yeah, a fight yeah. lined up, have you? Yeah, um, I think um, I may be out again in December. Just nice and good. Try and get out mm -hmm. an another time before Christmas, and then next year obviously we can push on really. Just for people that don't know who Hopi Price is, just yeah. break down your amateur career, the amateur record, the medals and stuff like that. Uh, I think I had 80 fights, I maybe lost about 6. I won 7 national titles, 2 European gold, 1 European silver, a world silver and a youth Olympic gold medalist. And how old are you? Just turned 19. Just turned 19, you've done all that? Yeah, I was, the f I was actually the first ever person to win a youth Olympic gold medal from Great Britain. That's in boxing. That's pretty impressive. So, because you've done all that, so one of the medals in the amateurs, you thought, right, I'm not sticking around him, I'm done. Yeah, I'm literally, done like, um, I could have waited on, like you say, for, for the next Olympics, but I'm, I'm, I'm only young, so maybe GB didn't want me for the for the 2020, for the 2024. And to me, like I said, I boxed in European, World, Olympic, or every championship since been probably 40, 15 for England. Yeah. 56 fights for England, just for England. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to stick around, I just wanted to turn over and see what I could do in the pros now. Well, that's the thing, you've seen, obviously, guys that turned over young, like old Josh Taylor, he didn't turn over too young, but yeah, he, yeah, just, yeah. as a Scotchman, I'm going to just mention Josh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's won a world title in his sixth, 15th fight. That's are, you, are you hoping because of that, your amateur background and what you've done in your amateur career, are you hoping that maybe you can push on quicker than most fighters um, at your age? Yeah. I believe I'm good enough to push on quicker, if need be, but at the end of the day, I've still got to remember I'm only 19. Mm -hmm. And I'll just rarely listen to Dave Cole when we train and, and Eddie. And like the first year or so, just take my time, get a couple of fights under my belt, get used to the pro game. Whenever they let me off the leash, I'll be ready. I think everyone will be looking forward to that when Hopi Price is let, let off the leash. I just want to say as well, like, um, are you going to be one of them traditional young fighters that when they come to 10 and 0, they're going to go for the Commonwealth, British, European, and then World Honours? Or if a big fight comes along the way, you're just going to jump at that chance? Or are you going to go down the tra traditional route? Um, if a big fight comes, obviously, then sometimes you've got to take it. But I would like to go the traditional route. I would like to pick up as many belts as possible along the way. If I could win British, Commonwealth, European, then on to World Honours. <coughs> Just to add to all the Just amateur medals all, you've got. All the medals. I, like, I won every title as an amateur, I want to win everyone as a pro. Good stuff. Well, uh, Dave Cold, you're training with Dave Cold. Well, um, it's going to be a, maybe a stupid question, but why Dave Cold? Why, why do you turn over? Um, just think Dave's a great trainer. F like looking from the amateur, he, he had belly he had a lot of a lot of right, good deal. Um, yeah, like you say, he, he trained a lot of good fighters, and it's not too far from me. I lived in Leeds. I went down there with Dave just to like have a session to try out, and I fitted straight in with the boys. Got used to Dave training straight away, so I thought this is the place for me. Finally, before like, you go, what can the fans, Manchester fans, expect from you on Saturday night at this Manchester uh, Arena? I'm gonna put on a show, definitely. definitely. You, you might see a bit of everything. You see a bit of boxing. If the stoppage comes, it comes. But are you wanting the stoppage? Um, are you for the stoppage? I think the kid on boxing haven't been stopped, so he's boxed some good kids so far. If I can stop him, it'd be a bonus. But I'm there to do a job. I'm there to show my skills. Definitely. We won't keep you much longer. Hope you get ready for the press conference. Thank uh, you very much. Back to this five TV. Thank Thanks you so much, mate. Bye bye.